Oh. Uh, so I would be really. I just I don't know. Hi YouTube, it's Melissa, aka Meeples, and you are in my bedroom. So right now I am doing a bit of tidying up, going through things, and getting rid of things. And I thought I'd do that and try to make my video for February at the same time. So, welcome! Uh, we'll start off with my February haul because that is the smallest. My sister gave me her second copy of Frankenstein. And then I got the February Owl Crate, which came with the Tea Dragon Society and Crown of Feathers by Nikki Pau Preto. And then I plan on doing an Owl Crate unboxing for that. And then the last thing, um, one of my TBR traveling book projects, it ended, but then the other one, it kind of just stopped and people stopped sending me books. And then I finally just got another one, which was The Juliet Club by Suzanne Harper. It's not a book, but I did buy the Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit, so it's not a book, but I bought something bookish. And that is everything that I have to haul for February. For February, I participated in the booktube games. I did a 24-hour reading challenge vlog, which I also updated the first two weeks. So I have weeks three and four to give you updates and then the wrap-up. So for the booktube games week three, I did the challenge on day 18, which was the day I did the 24 reading hour challenge. And my high for the week was the day 18, which I read 882 pages. My low for week three was 72 pages. I only completed three books for week three. Then week four, I completed the challenge, which was the video scavenger hunt on day 25. My high day was uh, 25 with 685 pages. And then my low for the week was day 22 with 59 pages. And I finished six books for week four. Um, altogether, I read 15 books, I think it was. No, six. Um, yeah, 15 books. So I read 14 of those in February. The first, then the last one was on March 1st. And it was a total of 8,803 pages. And I thought there was going to be a video posted of like everybody's final stuff, but there hasn't been one yet. So how the scoring went for the booktube games was it was the average of the average, so each day was tallied up and then averaged out and then each daily average was added up and then averaged out. So we have, in last place was Team Jerry with 126.8 and then in fourth place was Team Kitterdam with 132.71. In third place was Team Neverland, my team, with 136.58. And then second place was Hogwarts with 147.45. And then the winners was Team Camp Backblood with 138.47. But the, oh, the winner was announced and that was Team Camp Half-Blood. So congratulations, you guys. Uh, it was actually really fun, so I look forward to participating in the next one. So I read 14 total books for February. I read Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. And she did just release information about the sequel. I'm between being excited for it and not really wanting to read it. I also read the entire series of Land of Elion by Patrick Carmen. 
Um, my friend Brittany, she lent me Peter Pan, which I wanted to read because I was on Team Neverland, and she, I also read A Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds, which she lent me. Now, this is a weird question, but do you have any books by black authors? Because I don't think I do. So she looked, and she found that one for me, and it was actually really cool because it was a story, but it was told through poetry and so like some of them were just like short po poems but then other ones were like um, aesthetic looking and weird and you can do whatever you want with poetry so that was really cool. I listened to three Game of Thrones books so I listened to Game of Thrones A Clash of Kings and Storm of Swords and the complete series of Sherlock. Am I missing anything? Oh, and I also fit in The Sun is Also a Star and Everything Everything by Nic Nicola Hewn. I think that is all of my books that I read for February. I did read that last 15th book for the book two games but that was in March so I'm not gonna tell you that one yet. On to my TBR for March. Um, I think March is just going to be cleaning up my past couple of months TBRs. Um, so I have the second act of Harry Potter and the Cursed Childs, uh, short stories of power politics and pesky poltergeists, Hogwarts an incomplete and unreliable guide, both Fantastic Beasts books, um, then I have all of my Cornelia Funk books still, so there's Ink Heart, Ink Spell, Ink Death, Thief Lord, and then the two Dragon Rider books. Then someone did post on my January wrap-up, she asked me about Dragon Rider, but it's been so long since I've read it, I don't really remember. It's from the best-selling author The Thief Lord, Ink Heart, and Ink Spell. With Ben and Sorrel on board, Fri Fire Drake sets out in search of the mythical place where dragons can live in peace forever. Along the way, the three friends encounter fantastic creatures, surprising courage, and one ruthless villain determined to end their quest. Only a secret destiny can save the dragons in this enchanting adventure about the true meaning of home. And like, all I remember about it is, like, there's the dragon, there was a boy, I didn't remember his name, don't remember the dragon's name, so I'm assuming that's Fire Drake and Ben, but, um, this furry little person right there, uh, that's Sorrel, and Sorrel is a djinn, which is kind of like a genie, and then the place that they go to, I believe, is in India? Mount Everest area. Got a map there, so somewhere around there. Well, it, it's been a very long time since I've read it, so I don't really remember. And then I have joined a couple different reading groups to try to help me read more. Um, the first one that I joined was called, is called Reading Rebels, and they do quarterly reading, group group readings, and so for this quarter is Five Feet Apart, which is coming to theaters this month, so I do hope to read that. And then the other one that I joined is called We Be Bookin', and they have a bunch of different activities going on in that one. Um, they are reading The Heat You Give this month, and then there's a few different, like, challenges. So, I plan on reading The Hate You Give and On the Come Up this month for that group. And then I am doing a Spell It Out TBR challenge. So, I'm hoping we're given words, and then we have to spell them out with either, like, the title or the character's first main character's name or the author's first or last name. So I am hoping to put some of my reading towards that. I have two of them planned out already. 
little fantastic beast somewhere to find them script and then five feet apart is already going towards that and I'm gonna work with other people to spell these words out and hopefully my team continues to win. I'm not sure what else to say. I do have something special planned for April. It's not really special for you guys but it's special for someone. So if you want to find out what that is I'll see you next month. As you can see, I'm doing great in life. It is March, and my calendar says January. Who is a the the random holiday per day things? Even though this calendar gives one per day, so there's some holidays that are multiple different random holidays. Uh, my favorites are National International Sushi Day, which is June 17th. And Unicorn Day is, Na National Unicorns Day is April 9th. So my question for you for this video is what's your favorite random holiday? Until next time, bye!